I'm here today with two simple messages that together are a word of hope and encouragement to everyone here. First, America is in crisis. We know this. We look at what's happening in Washington. The president of the United States shakes hands with the empty air. That ain't normal. If you look at what's happening in Washington, everything is going wrong. We got out of control inflation. The cost of everything is going through the roof. The cost of food through the roof. The cost of electricity through the roof. The cost of health care through the roof. The cost of gasoline through the roof. It's so bad, Antifa can't afford bricks. It is so bad, Eric Swalwell can't afford Chinese dinners. It is so bad. It is so bad that AOC can't afford fake handcuffs. We have crime skyrocketing across the country, murder rates going up, carjacking rates going up. We have chaos at the southern border, the worst illegal immigration we have seen in 62 years. And as bad as the domestic and economic policy has been, the foreign policy is even worse. Every single region on earth has gotten worse. Every enemy of America is stronger. It's so bad, we sent Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan and they were happy. By the way, in a truly surreal moment, a Chinese state-owned newspaper said that when Pelosi came, the Chinese should shoot her plane down. The White House press secretary was asked, what does the White House think about this? And I kid you not, their answer was, we have no position on that. Like, what in the hell is wrong with you? Look, I'm no fan of Pelosi, but the only answer to an enemy of America threatening to murder the Speaker of the House of the United States is that would be an act of war, and the result would be devastating consequences. And the weakness and appeasement that comes from these cheese-eating surrender monkeys is making America and the entire world far less safe. Now, some of y'all might be thinking, you know, Ted, you said you were going to encourage us. But you really suck at this. But I told you I had two points. Here's the second point. Revival is coming. with all my heart. You know, across American history, politics has always had a natural pendulum sense to it. One party gets in power, they go too far one direction, and the American people pull it back. Every terrible idea that comes out of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, part of me grieves, part of me celebrates. Because it's opening people's eyes, and it is accelerating people coming back. We are going to see in November not just a red wave, but a tsunami sweeping this country. People understand this is hideous. Right, think about the idiotic mass rule. That the Democrats tried to foist on us. Yeah. Remember the rules when you walked into a restaurant? Yes. 
You walk into a restaurant, you must wear a mask. Must have a so mask. Sit to sit down, yes. And just... then when you sit down, you can take your mask off. <laughs> and remember, this is because of science. Yes, science. Oh, and actually, I'm sorry. I, I got a theory. What would the theory the be, COVID Ted? Virus the COVID virus reacts to altitude. It reacts to altitude. The COVID so virus. So at six feet, it is utterly deadly. Yes, at six feet. <laughs> at three feet, it is completely har harmless and it is a tonic for the bones. Isn't that true? How about in Denver, a mile high <laughs> above sea level? By the way, that's why Fauci's safe. He's only five feet tall. <laughs> Dr. Fauci. What a fool. But people oh, I'm sorry. This. Am I getting people into politics here? This and they it or do I care sense. about I my children and my grandchildren? Is all the young no more socialism. No more communism, kids. All the young people suffering under communist woke professors. I talked recently with a college kid at one of these schools who said at each class, before any student speaks, they're required to introduce themselves, say their name, and say, my pronouns are. Well, my name is Ted Cruz, and my pronouns are kiss my ass. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's it. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and well, I fame. Tell you, look, people know this. College kids know this. They may be afraid to say it. But if you see someone with a beard and chest hair and a voice like Barry White, that's a dude. Like, we know that. Leah Thomas, I'm sorry. Leah Thomas looks like Michael Phelps. <laughs> and people across the country, across the world are like, that don't make any sense. And it is powerful how people's eyes are opening up. It is powerful. Look, I'm focused right now. Number one, standing up and fighting every dumbass idea that comes out of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. In the Senate every day, I represent 30 million Texans in my job. It's like the old Roman Coliseum where you slam on a breastplate and you grab a battle axe and you go fight the barbarians. And as they say in the military world, it is a target-rich environment. Number two. I am spending almost every waking moment crisscrossing this country campaigning for candidates for the Senate, candidates for the House, because we're going to retake our country. I am on the road nonstop, number one, to win back the House and Senate, but number two, to actually elect real conservatives with backbone and principle. So that when we have a majority, we do something with it. And I'm going to make a prediction right now, which is come November. South Texas is turning red. We're going to elect not one, not two, but three Republicans from South Texas, all Hispanic women. And I 
can't wait to see Adam Schiff. By the way, that's a sentence that's never before been uttered in the English language. I can't wait to see Adam Schiff. And Nancy Pelosi talking to three Hispanic women from the Rio Grande Valley explaining now illegal immigration is not a problem. Oh, really? And then number three, I'm spending my time on winning hearts and minds all across this country. Look, Republicans, we spend too much time preaching to the choir. We spend too much time talking to the same 2.6 million people watching Fox News. And God love, the choir needs preaching. But we also need to be talking to young people and Hispanics and African Americans and suburban moms. We need to be talking about the blessings of liberty. Some of y'all know I do every week a podcast called Verdict with Ted Cruz. We launched it two and a half years ago. It became the number one ranked podcast in the world. We've had over 40 million downloads every week. We beat CNN's morning show. So I want to ask you all to do something. Take out your cell phone. Take out your cell phone and text the word VERDICT to 24005. Let me give you that again. The number is 24005. Text the word VERDICT. You'll get a link back to subscribe to the podcast. And come share it with your friends. Share the blessings of liberty because every one of us, all of us have a platform. All of us have the ability to speak to our friends, to our colleagues, to our families, to our neighbors. To be evangelists for liberty. To be happy warriors. And I got to tell you, I'm looking forward in January of next year. I'm going to be walking along the hallway in the U.S. Capitol, and I'm going to bump into a little man <laughs> carrying a screwdriver, coming to change the sign on Nancy Pelosi's door. <laughs>